Today we are going to learn what is the difference between rays, lines, and line segments. Imagine that we draw two points. Let's call them point A and point B. If we join these two points following a straight path from A to B, we create something called a line segment. And we name it line segment AB. A line segment has a beginning and an end. It starts at one point and it ends at another. Now imagine that we draw another two points. Let's say point C and point D. And we join them, creating a line segment CD. But now, imagine that we extend this line segment forever in both directions. Well, this is not a line segment anymore. Instead, we have a line. A line is a straight path that extends forever in both directions with no end points. But since we can't actually draw a line that goes on forever, what we do is draw an arrowhead on both ends of the line to show that keeps on going. There is one more special type of line that we need to talk about and it's basically a combination of a line segment and a line. We call it a ray. To draw a ray, suppose we have a line segment with endpoints E and F. But now, imagine that we extend this line segment forever in one direction. For example in the direction that goes from E to F. And so we have created the ray EF. As we can see, Rays have beginning points, but no ending points. They just keep on going forever. But only in one direction. Similar to a line, we draw an arrowhead to indicate that the ray continues in that direction. Each of these three types of lines has a shorthand way of writing it. Instead of writing line segment AB, we can just write AB with a line over the top. And instead of writing line CD, we can write CD with a double arrow line over them. And finally, instead of writing ray EF, we can just write EF with a single arrow line over them. Which of the following diagrams is a line segment? That's right. The first diagram is a line segment as it has two endpoints without arrowheads. Is this a line or a line segment? Correct. It's a line as it has an arrowhead at both ends. Which of the following options is the right way to denote the given figure? That's right. The answer is option 3. Which of the following figures show a dash tray? Correct. Figure B is showing a dash tray. Which of the following diagrams is a line? That's right. The first diagram is a line as it has no endpoints and has an arrowhead at both ends. Is this a line segment or a ray?
Correct. It's a ray as it has only one endpoint and an arrowhead at the end. Which of the following options is the right way to denote the given figure? That's right. The answer is option 2. Which of the following figures show a dashed line? Correct. Figure A is showing a dashed line. Which of the following diagrams is a ray? That's right. The second diagram is a ray as it has a start point and an arrowhead to show that it continues in that direction. Is this a ray or a line segment? Correct. It's a line segment since it has two endpoints without arrowheads. Which of the following options is the right way to denote the given figure? That's right. The answer is option 1. Which of the following figures show a dashed line segment? Correct. Figure A is showing a dashed line segment. Which of the following options is the right way to denote the given figure? That's right. The answer is option 2. What is the dashed part of the figure below? That's right. It's a line segment. What is the dashed part of the figure below? That's right. It's a ray. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.